All right, I'm going to be continuing my work on the robe. And uh, I'm going to be texturing it today. This is not the right one. Uh, get the right tool. Anyway, it's uh, going to be texturing the robe and then adding the uh, stripe on the bottom of the blankets or the blanket. I uh, did some research on Hudson Bay blankets and how they uh, were sold and uh, all that stuff. So I'll discuss that as we go on through the day. All right, I'm going to plot out where the uh, stripe is going to go. I'll put up a picture of a uh, Hudson Bay blanket here so that you see what I'm talking about. And what I've done is I've taken a piece of tape and trimmed it down to the size I want for the stripe. I'm not going to leave it on there. I just uh, want to see if this will work. I'm tr trying to make a difference in the uh, texture. All right, I've raised up the uh, sculpture. I'm going to use some electrician's tape because it's a little stickier. I'll come back when I get this all set up. I'm sorry, it's just taking longer than I thought it was going to take. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the texture and hopefully the tape will keep. Now, see, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to do something different. All right, that's okay. It was an idea. It didn't work out. What I'm trying to do is get a diff different texture for the area of the stripe. And that didn't work at all. Okay, I'm going to try making it smooth. Yeah, that works better. This tool is a glyptic wire tool. Karen Richardson, the owner of Sculpture Depot, invented this tool and it's a great tool for uh, changing or making wire loops interchangeable it's got a little allen wrench screw right there you just loosen that and you've got a whole selection of different uh, wire uh, tools that you can or wire loops that you can put into the uh, sculpting uh, tool and you never have to replace the whole tool when it breaks. It doesn't break. 
Okay, there's what, what I needed to do was just make a border. The nice thing about elliptic tools, none of the uh, wires, I've, I've never had any trouble with the wire loosening up in the handle. You tighten it up once and it pretty much stays that way. Okay, I'm kind of liking the way that's working out. I use the uh, smooth side of the tool to smooth out the texture. Okay, this is going to take a while. So I'm going to have to come back when I get this uh, front part done. And I've got to do uh, the whole back end part of it too. Well, I think I've come across the way to do this. The best way. And that's just exactly what I'm doing right now. Creating the border by putting a thin layer of clay below the uh, stripe and above the stripe. And it gives just enough difference that uh, you can see the stripe. And I come back and I put the texture in where I need the texture and I don't need the texture where the stripe is. Now there's a little valley right there where the added clay meant the old clay and I got to even that out so it doesn't have that valley all right I'm just gonna finish texturing this side of the blanket so that when I do the bait bead work I won't have to texture after it. It's better to have it done before I put the beadwork on so I don't screw up the beadwork when I try to texture my blanket afterwards. All right, this is going to have to be it for today. I spent all my time putting that stripe on both sides and lining it up. So tomorrow, and believe me, I this took so much more time than I thought it was ever going to take. I thought it was going to be a quick fix, and I should have known better. But anyway, I'll put the beadwork on tomorrow. Once I get the beadwork, the blanket's complete. Well, except for hands and her head and her hair in the back where it got bump, uh, bumped. I've got this one almost to the point where I can stop working on it and pray nothing happens to it when it goes on the trip down to Las Vegas. Of course, if I sell one before that trip, it won't go to Vegas. It'll just go right through the, straight to the uh, boundary. Anyway, she's turning out good. I like her a lot. And I, I think the stripe actually adds something to the back of it, which was rather plain. And when I get the beadwork on there, it's going to add even more to it. All right, good night, everybody. I'll see you next time when I hopefully can get a little more other, more interesting stuff to work on. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.